Well, over the years, I've occasionally heard someone described in a less than flattering tone as being all hat and no cattle. And while the gentleman in our next story may have neither, what he does have is a thriving business raising camels. J.D. Roseman introduces us. Oklahoma, land of big energy and big ag, and now camels? Camel here, camel! Woo! Woo! For Ralph Paso in Perry, Oklahoma, camels are the center of his ranching operation. My whole deal is do not get in the line. Everything I do, if I walk up and I go to get to lunch, if there's a line, I figure a way to get out of the line. Because you'll never be first when you're in the line. So if you've got camels, there ain't nobody in that line. Everybody's in cows or something else. And it's, it's just a good policy for life. Don't get in the line. So why camels? Well, we used to raise goats, and goats were a, uh, a perfect thing. We raised Angor goats, and we at one time had like a thousand head. But the coyotes really liked them. So what about Oklahoma weather conditions? It isn't exactly Egypt. The camels, they can take the snow, they can take the cold weather, the hot weather. And for Ralph's wife, Winona, she even plays mother. When we have the babies, uh, it's usually from the end of December till the end of April when we have the biggest share of our babies. And uh, it's usually cold, so you have to get them out of the pen until the mother uh, is uh, ready to accept them. Until they are totally cleaned, uh, they don't want anything to do with the babies. Within about an hour, we'll try to give them a bottle. I try to keep the milk frozen that, so we'll have it at times when we need it. And then you help them to get up and get their legs strong enough that they can stand. And then when the mother's ready for them to be with them, then you can integrate them in with the mother. So what does one do with camels in Oklahoma? Female camels. We sell a lot of those for milking. Not something found on grocery store shelves. Yet, Ralph says the camel milk market is growing. Well, it's getting better, better, better because they have did a bunch of studies and it's awful good for Alzheimer's, diabetes, autism. It's just a mighty, mighty powerful stuff, really. And extremely profitable. Now the milk is going for $160 a gallon. Very profitable business. Making money and making friends. Nice animal to be around. All while running a farm in central Oklahoma.